Hi, I'm T for Bead and Button Magazine. Polymer clay is a pliable synthetic polymer or plastic based medium that you can mold and shape as you would other clays. It comes in a wide range of colors which can be mixed to create further variations. It cures by baking in a toaster oven or a home oven which hardens the polymer, making it firm but not brittle. Polymer clay is available in several different brands, including, but not limited to, Cato Polyclay, Fimo Classic, Fimo Soft, Cernit, Primo, Studio Clay, Sculpey, Pardo, and Store brands. It is available in both a solid and a liquid form. Liquid polymer clay is typically used for joining cured clay, joining other elements to cured or uncured clay, making image transfers, or other effects. Each formulation of clay has its own curing temperature and time, so take note when working with your clay to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Although polymer clay will not undergo a noticeable change in size when it is cured, it may change in color. You may want to cure a test piece before settling on the final color. There are a few basic tools that are handy to use with polymer clay. A pasta machine helps to condition clay and to roll clay to a specific thickness. An extruder makes long, thin strands of clay. Different tips allow for variation. A smooth, durable work surface, such as a sheet of glass, marble, or ceramic tile, prevents clay from adhering to the surface of your favorite table. An acrylic roller or a brayer, which is like a roller with a handle, are used for flattening clay. A burnishing tool, bone folder, or even the back side of a spoon can be used for transferring an image to clay. A craft knife or a tissue blade are used to cut or trim clay. Take great care when using a tissue blade as the cutting edge looks similar to the edge you hold. Placing painter's tape on the holding corners or coloring the edge of a tissue blade help differentiate between the two. Other tools include shape cutters, like cookie cutters, molds, such as soap molds, carving and modeling tools, dental tools, a needle tool, an oven thermometer, a toaster oven, texture sheets, rubber stamps, sandpaper for using after curing, screens, and sculpting tools. Conditioning polymer clay makes it softer and easier to work with. Depending on the brand and whether the clay is from a newly opened package or left over from another project, it will require varying levels of conditioning. You can either condition the clay by hand, or you can condition it by rolling it through a pasta machine until it is pliable. When rolling the clay through a pasta machine, Always be sure to feed it through the roller by folding it in half and feeding it by the fold. You can use a pasta machine to set the desired thickness of the clay. Or you can use an acrylic roller to flatten the clay into a sheet. Clay lends itself well to color mixing. One of the easiest ways to change the color of your clay is to add white for lightening the clay or add black to darken it. You can also make various and subtle shades such as changing blue to green or purple. Different brands mix differently, so you'll want to experiment to find what works best for you. You may be surprised by what colors you can create. You can mix colors either by hand by pressing them together as you would conditioning clay or by rolling it through a pasta machine again as you would when conditioning clay. The Skinner blend was developed by polymer clay artist Judith Skinner who created a way to make seamless color gradations. To create a Skinner blend Cut two right triangles of different clay colors.
and place them together to form a square. Roll the sheet through a pasta machine. Fold the sheet in half and roll through again with the fold at the bottom feeding through the rollers. Continue folding and rolling. Always making sure to fold in the same direction and feed the crease through the machine first. Keep rolling until you are pleased with the blend. As you can see, the blend goes from light on one end to dark on the other. Mica Shift makes use of the unique properties of pearlescent clays. You can create subtle designs in these clays to create a textured effect. You can use molds to create shapes and texture sheets to add interest to your designs. Canes are made by layering polymer clay to create designs that will appear when you slice off pieces of the cane. Repeated layering and reducing can create intricate designs. When curing polymer clay, it is essential to make sure to calibrate your oven. To ensure that it is the proper temperature, use an oven thermometer before baking the clay. You will also want to make sure the oven you use is dedicated to non-food use and use it in a well-ventilated area. When curing your clay, especially if your piece is thicker than one quarter inch or six millimeters, tent the clay with aluminum foil to prevent scorching. This concludes our introduction to polymer clay. I hope you learned something that makes your next polymer clay project more fun.